Hello everybody, Orb the Q here, and welcome back to an exciting brand new episode of Octopath Traveler. So we're making our way down to the south, actually I could fast travel there because we're heading down to the city of Saints Bridge. So let's travel to Saints Bridge guys, we're going to be starting up the next chapter in Alfin's story. Apparently Alfin's next chapter is only at a level of 32, whereas Cyrus's is I think like 40. But I think we should be fine because honestly... I've been doing a lot of training between episodes, and I think we're actually ready to finally do some things. That's right, I had business here. That's weird. I didn't know that it would still stay there. Okay. Let's continue the chapter. I almost said trial. Everything is all black. Okay. The story so far. The deadly disease that plagued Goldshore. In the end, it was but the trickery of Vanessa, a depraved quack who enriched herself at her patron's expenses. But Alfin put an end to her villain, and healed the people out of the kindness of his heart. You were always my hero, an unreachable ideal, but heck if I ain't getting closer by the day. Having erased the pain and suffering of one town, Alfin strode into Saintsbridge with newfound confidence. Little did he know what awaited him there. What's awaiting him here? <laughs> Oi, hey, can you spare a scrap of food for a poor soul? As you can see, the snicks left me too injured to stand. Show it to me. The wound festers. If it isn't treated, you'll be dead before the next sunrise. What? You're one of them apothecaries, is that it? What's it to you? Bloody hell's put the god smile on me. Treat my wound, and you can name your price. Before that, answer me one thing. Oh, of course. Ask me anything. Afraid you're out of luck, friend. Your life isn't worth saving. Wait, wait, have some mercy. She can't just leave a man to die. Hold it, hold it, hold it! You're an apothecary, ain't you? How can you leave a man you examine to suffer? And who in the hells are you? Name's Alfin, and despite appearances, I'm a traveling apothecary myself. A fellow druggist, is it? Well, listen up. I'm a free man with the right to choose my patients. What's that supposed to mean? It means just what I said. Some lives aren't worth saving. <sighs> Who does that jackass think he is? You're an apothecary too, you said? Sure am. And one who doesn't discriminate when it comes to those in need. Let me see that wound. Much obliged. You're lucky I showed up when I did. There. That should give you a fighting chance. But you ain't out of the woods yet. You'll need plenty of rest till it heals up. Here. Lean on me. You're far too kind. Thank you. Uh... <laughs> the name's Alfin. Just doing my job. Thank you. Thanks, Alfin. I'm Miguel. You really saved me. <laughs> Don't mention it. You just rest up now, okay? 
I'll check in on you later with some vi vitals. Vittles? I don't know that word. I hear the grapes around these parts make for good eating. <laughs> Better for drinking if you catch my meaning. <sighs> Hate to break it to you, but not in your condition. We can raise a glass once you're all healed up, though. Deal? Aye. Alfin. I'd like that. <laughs> now there's a friendly enough guy. Oh. Shucks. I ain't eaten yet neither. Can't mix medicine on an empty stomach, now can we? Let's go hit the tavern. Oh, traveling banter. Why, I never! How can he just leave that poor man to die? You can say that again. A man who turns his back on the sick and suffering has no right to call himself an apothecary. If only more people could be like you. You know, we merchants have a saying. When you help a traveler in need, accept no coin in return. Huh? Not even merchants set a price when it comes to helping people in trouble. Well, how be? You merchants are more charitable than you let on. So if you're ever in a need, you know where to find me. <laughs> Much appreciated. Ah, off to the tavern we go. Because we need a bite to eat, don't we? So let's move upstream. To Saint's Bridge. Been a little while since we've been here. Quite a while, actually. It's a nice place. Wait, is this the same kid as before? Hmm. It is Daryl. <laughs> well, how about that? Ah, uh, good old Daryl. Oh, hello. What's this now? What's all the hubbub? Hey, what happened here? Someone help! My son? He just collapsed. I sent for help, but oh, look at him. He's dying. Let me take a look. There's an apothecary in the house. Let me see him at once. What? Tr truly? <sighs> hmm. Doesn't seem to be a case of food poisoning. But then what could it be? Oh, dear. Does your son suffer from any afflictions or ailments, ma'am? No, no. At least none. None that I know of. Damn it all. Think, Alfin, think. I'm coming in. Where's the patient? Oh. Huh. You're th that sham from before. You. You again. As for whether or not I'm a sham, you can judge for yourself. I see. Seems to be a, a paroxysm of sorts, doubtless brought on by something he ate. Sweet peas are known to cause this reaction in some people. Here, this should set things right. Whoa. Well, I'll be. Oh. Where am I? Oh. By the gods. Oh my! Timothy, you're all right. Oh, Timothy. Oh, sir, I have not the words to thank you. Oh, my goodness, yes. Just doing my job. It's nothing. Now, if you'll excuse me. The name's Ogan, traveling apothecary. And I trust you have learned not to judge a man before you know him. Well, shucks. Never seen a sham as good as that. But I can't let that shake me. All right. Let's see who else around here is in need. More traveling banter. 
I'm not going to give up that easy. That's for sure. Come now. Now, now, calm yourself there, friend. The boy was saved. That's no small solace, yes? I'm not saying it isn't, but still. As an apothecary yourself, you are well equipped to see the extent of his wisdom and skill. Damn right I am. It's much the same in my own profession. I have had the honor of studying under many great thinkers. Scholars of such pers perspicity... I don't know that word. What? And knowledge that I wondered if I could ever hope to be their equal. You don't say. Tell me, what precisely went through your mind when you realized the full extent of his apothecarial skills? First, my first thought was, wow, he's just something else. But then I thought, don't just sit there, admire an elf. I have to get as good as him so I can ease that many more people's pain. Oh, now there's a splendid answer if I ever heard one. Guess I should stop him open and get to learn it. Now that's the spirit. I dare say that passion will carry him a long way. Yes, he's found his path and I can tell he won't be swayed from it. Damn right he won't be swayed. Oh, we got two different locations. Let's head over to this direction first since the first person seems to be over here. I assume we're going to be inquiring. A scholar who keeps a close eye on the local water supply. He does so to ensure that those with who live nearby will not fall prey to sickness which was once spread via the river. A sickness that claimed his wife years ago. Oh, Nice chatting with you. Oh. Huh. So those two grandmas haven't been around lately. I should check and make sure they're not sick in bed. And we can just come around this way. It looks like we've got one down here. Oh. Make our way down the stairs. Holds up. We going back in? Is that what this is? Oh, I see. I see now. An elderly widow who lives a quiet life of solitude, never one for social gatherings. She had no clue, no one with whom to talk after her husband died. However, she recently met another older woman while taking a walk, and the two have since become good friends. Nice chatting with you. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you, dear boy. <laughs> Finally, I can go visit my best friend again. Go back in, because I saw a treasure chest. I know this might be considered stealing, but you know what? I'm going to take it. Speaking of stealing, I do need to see if I can find some new weapons. Considering we have a ton of money. After all, I kind of got myself up there in levels. I'm at exactly 2,000 health, which is great for one. And plus, I'm almost level 40 with Cyrus. Also, look how much money we have. We have over 125,000, which is... Quite wonderful. Okay, a warhammer isn't really what I want. Uh, Staff of Wonders I already have. A bear cleaver wouldn't be too bad. That could be given to old Barrack, I suppose. Uh, let's see here. Maybe? See, these things here aren't as great as I was hoping they would be, despite it being a Chapter 3 type of store. Oh. Where does this lead to? Oh, I have no idea where that leads to. That might actually... Actually, I don't know. I was thinking that maybe it was part of the forest from the earlier episode when I was back here in Saints Bridge, but I'm pretty sure that you entered through this location upstream. Whatever the case, we're going to continue the story as a true apothecary. And one inquire here. An old woman who has lived in this town for many years. A stubborn sermagen. A, a stubborn sermagen. I don't know that word either. There's been so many words this episode I don't know. 
She is slow to place her trust in others, and even slower to express her feelings. Though grateful to have a dear friend who accepts her for who she is, she will likely never admit as much. Cool. How are you holding up? And there we go. That should have gotten you feeling better, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, dearie. <laughs> Don't mention it, and make sure to keep warm, okay? Aye. I will. Thank heavens. I can finally go grape picking again. Hmm? Grapes? Speaking of grapes, do you know where I could find myself a good bottle of wine? I promised my new friend Miguel we'd share a toast, you see, and... <gasps> Are you alright? Is everything alright, ma'am? How can this be? Your friends with Miguel? That rotten, no-good thief? <laughs> a thief? <sighs> you heard me, and that's not all. Rumor even has it he killed a man. I heard he slipped into one of the local estates, and when the butler found him, Miguel stabbed the poor man to death. The local militia has been searching for him ever since, but they can't find hide nor hair of him. <sighs> He's a drifter and a vagrant. If you know what's best for you, you'll find yourself a new friend. Hmm. So we meet again. Sorry, no time to chat. I have a patient waiting. <laughs> Surely you don't mean to save that scoundrel's life. So you knew? I did. He claimed to be a humble farmer, but the dagger concealed beneath his cloak told me otherwise. There was far more blood on him than that from his wound. Nor did his nervous, flickering eyes do him any favors. No, it was clear why he hadn't sought treatment for his wound. He's a man on the run. Still... Cause someone's a thief, that means you leave them to die? I said it once, and I'll say it again. Some lives are worth saving. Others, not so much. Bollocks! We're apothecaries, not gods. It ain't our place to judge. We have a duty to help anyone who needs us, am I wrong? Show me one of your tonics. Huh? Why should I do that? Call it curiosity. I want to see your skills for myself. Huh. <laughs> well, if you insist. Here, looking's free. It is unrefined, but adequate. Made with talent and confidence. Hear me often. I can see the passion in your eyes, so I'll not mince words. Let that man die. You can't... Before you act, Ask yourself what it truly means to save a man's life. Especially the life of a killer. I should go back and check up on Miguel. And we'll do that in the next episode. Hopefully, hopefully Miguel will see the errors of his ways. I actually agree with Alfin, honestly. Like, if someone is injured, I don't know, there's certain people. It's it's really hard to judge, but if I was in Alfin's shoes, I, I feel like if I were an apothecary, it, I feel like it'd be my duty to help him. 
Of course, I would also turn him into the guards and everything, but I don't know. It's kind of a hard and very, 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 very moral situation. It's not my place to judge, though, so we'll let Alfin figure this out for his own in the next episode of Octopath Traveler. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below, subscribe to see more, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, have fun.